Roblox YouTubers aren't always sweet and kind. Sometimes they do offensive stuff. Today I'm going to cover the most offensive things Roblox YouTubers have ever done. Welcome back to Roblox Exhaust. Let's get into the video. Number 6. Flamingo back in the day. This one's pretty surprising and not a lot of people don't know about it. It's all about Flamingo and the type of content he used to make way back in the day. First, you guys need to know that Flamingo was not his first YouTube channel. He had a YouTube channel way before and he was completely different back then. He looks and sounds so different, right? It's so crazy. This is back when he was still in college, which was a couple of years ago. His channel then was called Albert Stuff. On this channel, he used to play CSGO, but he also started playing Roblox on that channel too. But on this channel, he used to curse a lot and say a lot of really inappropriate stuff. So he was not family friendly at all. He tried to be family friendly when he started playing Roblox, but his old content stopped him from making the money he was supposed to from his videos. That's exactly when he made a new channel called Flamingo. He still says quite a few crazy stuff from time to time, but it's definitely not as bad as the things he used to say back in the day. Roblox skateboarding. Like, this consumed so much of my life back in the day. This got me, like, into real life skateboarding. If you don't know, I used to skateboard a lot. I still do. Number five, Lisa Gaming Roblox. The whole world is in a state of emergency after the rise of the coronavirus throughout the whole globe. The virus managed to shut down whole economies and cause people to become jobless and homeless. Moreover, it had managed to take the life of millions and is still continuing to do so. Clearly, the disease is no joke and is something which is to be taken extremely seriously. However, Lisa Gaming did not seem to get this memo as she released a video where she was claiming to get corona and claimed she needed surgery. This makes it quite obvious that she is lying about contradicting the disease as no treatment in corona requires surgery since it is mainly a disease which targets the lungs. She lied about having the disease just to rack up more views and gain more subs as people would subscribe out of sympathy. However, people actually saw through her whole charade and started unsubscribing and stopped watching her videos. Number 4, Coral from the Pals Fights with a Fan. Back in the day, there used to be a Roblox YouTube group made up by the YouTubers Dennis, Alex, Sub, and Sketch. The group officially broke up on June 28th of 2019. Together, they were called the Pals. During their time together, was something really bad happened. It involved one of the group members whose name was Coral. He was really rude to someone on Twitter, and it was a really big thing. His group members saw this and wanted him to put out an apology, but according to them, Coral was very rude towards them too. He refused to do it and was also pretty rude to the other group members. Always be strong. He is so happy. Number three, Magpie. Now we have a YouTuber or rather someone who used to be a YouTuber. This person went by the name of Magpie. Magpie had over 100,000 subscribers on his channel and that's pretty good, but he did say a lot of bad stuff. This guy used to hack a lot of people. He would hack his fans Roblox accounts and he even hacked YouTubers too. He also used to do a lot of fake Robux giveaways. This guy was bad news. One of the biggest things he did was hack a Roblox YouTuber named Jeremy. Magpie made a video which shows him hacking Jeremy's Roblox account. He had a full access to it, so he used all of Jeremy's Robux to buy his own Roblox clothing and other random items. It was really cruel. There's coins everywhere. There's so much I want to collect. And I see dead people. That's sad. Number two, Jeremy calls Leah Ash a bully. I'm sure we all know Leah Ash as one of the biggest and also the nicest Roblox YouTubers in the community. She's really nice and well respected. That is why it is a huge surprise when Jeremy, who is another Roblox YouTuber, accused Leah Ash of being really mean and bullying them. This even surprised her a lot. Check this out. Leah Ash had to go on Twitter and make a video on her YouTube channel to address the rumors. Obviously, they ended up being false, and it was a really bad thing of Jeremy to make some really bad accusations about her. She could have lost a lot of subscribers or even get canceled for something she didn't do. But chat with whoever's running this establishment. Please decorate my house I'm poor. Oh, what do you mean? I just discovered a Leah Ash hater club and you, you're asking me. Number one, Jeremy breaking rules. Jeremy got his Adopt Me account deleted one day and claimed he had no idea why. Someone who worked on the Adopt Me team actually went out of his way to help Jeremy out and Jeremy ended up getting his account back. But then soon after he got his account back, it was discovered that there was a good reason his account got deleted. Jeremy actually broke the Adopt Me terms of service by selling items online on eBay. The person who helped Jeremy was very angry because he felt like Jeremy deceived him and Jeremy did not deserve the help. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.